Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dinosaur Boy, and let's get started. Today, we'll be talking about Carcara Dontosaurus. It was one of the biggest theropods out there. Now, Carcara Dontosaurus's name in Greek means sharp toothed lizard because its teeth are very sharp. It's that simple. So the Carcara Dontosaurus was a biped carnivore in the, light, in the late Cretaceous period, 125 to, to 93 million years ago. Now, Carcara Dontosaurus was one of the biggest carnivores that roamed the African plains. Now, Carcara Dontosaurus was an unusual dinosaur. It was solitary, and its brain was crocodile-like. It wasn't anything like any other dinosaur. Now, that's me. I'm 5'4". And this is me compared to Carcarodontosaurus. Now, Carcarodontosaurus was a theropod, which means it has three toes, a dew claw, and at least three fingers on each hand. Now, Carcarodontosaurus lived among Spinosaurus. They lived in North Africa. There, in North Africa, there were plain-like, desert-like, and marsh-like terrain. Now, Carcarodontosaurus, the thing that it hunted the most was the sauropod Paralotitan and the Hadrosaur Alorotitan. No, 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 Oranosaurus. Alorotitan was in China. So they would hunt Oranosauruses and Paralotitans. Paralotitan was a sauropod. It was not as big as Carcarodontosaur, but they would hunt them. And they would also hunt the Hadrosaur Oranosaurus. Now, Carcarodontosaurus, although it does mean sharp tooth, don't let its name make you think, oh, it's a big carnivore, has a bite force the same as a tyrannosaur, almost 10,000 pounds, but no, 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 no. Its bite force was actually kind of weak. Almost, it's just as high as a spinosaur, which is around 2,000. Still a lot, but it's not as much as any other carnivore. So how did they hunt? Well, the Carcarodontosaurus, they were solitary animals. But their main weapon was patience. When they saw their prey, they would run up to the prey and bite down. They would slash and make as many gashing wounds as possible. And they would wait for their prey to limp away and either die of blood loss or they just faint. And then they would make the kill. And now that is pretty scary. Now Carcarodontosaurus territorial. They love to keep their space. Fossils show that the Carcarodontosaurus's skull had bite marks from other Carcarodontosaurus. The teeth matched the gash wounds. So that rose the idea that they were territorial animals. Now, Carcarodontosaurus wouldn't attack Spinosaur unless it really had to, especially if it was a dry season. Spinosaurus was a siscivore. They hunted fish. But when it was dry season, Spinosaurus would go inland to find food, like Oranosaur, dead carcasses, even some, even some reptilian birds. Sometimes they would run into Carcarodots, or, and they're almost pretty evenly matched. Spinosaurus had bigger arms, bigger claws. Spinosaurus was heavier, and... A lot longer, but Carcarodontosaurus had a stronger bite. Now, Carcarodontosaurus may have fought Spinosaur. It's possible, and it's most likely. They lived in the same terrain, and dry season was very common. It's kind of like our seasons, except it would occur faster in Africa. So they would most likely have fought Spinosaurus. Now, Carcarodontosaurus is actually related to Allosaur. They are in the Carcarodontosaurian family, Carcarodontosaurinae. And there were many species of dinosaur that belonged in there. Acrocanthosaurus, Allosaur, and Carcarodontosaur, for that matter. Giganotosaurus and Maposaurus. And that's all on the west hem... no, not west. East hemisphere of the planet. Mideast. That's where the Allosaurinae family was originated. Now, fossils, they are found in all of North Africa. Carcarodontosaurus was discovered by a German paleontologist, and his name was Ernst, Ernst Stromer. 
and it was found just before World War I. Now, the only bones of Spinosaur and Carcontosaurus found at that time was destroyed during World War II during a bombing raid. And it was just, it was very hurtful for Ernst Stromer because he spent all of his hard work and he didn't even want to find dinosaurs. He wanted to find mammal bones, but he found this dinosaur instead. Now, Carcarodontosaurus, even though it looks like a big dinosaur, like Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's like around 8 tons. But this guy is just lighter, even though it's way bigger and way taller. Some scientists wonder why. Because all it did was lay around and wait for food instead of hunting, exercising. It would just wait until its prey dies of blood loss. While Tyrannosaur, it hunted a lot. Which would make sense. But scientists don't know why this guy's a lot lighter. It's pretty interesting. And Carcharonosaurus was one of the biggest carnivores. It's 15 and 16 feet tall. Tyrannosaurus was 14 to 15. Spinosaurus was taller just because of the spine, and there are other carnivores that were bigger, like Mapasaurus and Giganotosaurus. But my favorite carnivore is Acrocanthosaurus. We'll get into a later video of Acrocanthosaurus. But the next video, we will be doing Triceratops. Now that that's out of the way, Carcharodontosaurus, its terrain was probably not even a lot of grass, because during... The Cretaceous period, grass and flowers were just forming. And there's not really much about the Carcharodontosaur other than weak by force, uses its teeth to kill. Well, yeah, it's a carnivore, but it uses it to blood bleed. It's 39 to 44 feet long. Uh, that's pretty ridiculous, if I ask. It's pretty muscular. Its skull has a weird shape. It's kind of very, it's very similar to a Giga and Allosaur. So, that's all I have for the Car Car Dontosaurus. This is a pretty short video. But we will be going in more depth with the Triceratops. I hope you enjoyed this video more than I did.